Okay, for this video we will practice how to project a curve on a surface. So if I start in the top viewport, I will start with the uh, curve, then uh, freeform, and I will select the interpolate points. So I will start creating this curve, and let me show you the difference between the interpolate points and control points. Look, if I try to do something similar, look that is more freeform the control points instead of interpolate so when I activate the control points with this icon points on look the difference between the, the points and I try to do to give the same distance between the, the control points and if I start to modify this look the distance between the control points and the surface and look now the difference with the interpolate points it's more close this control point to this so I'm going to repeat the steps only to show you how to use look curve freeform actually let me show you th something let me put these control points as a reference so you can uh, identify better the difference between the two commands so I will copy these control points as only as a reference and look I will start again the command of freeform control points and I will select these control points, this one. Look how is be, uh, developing the, the, the curve between the control points. And if I activate the option of interpolate points, look that the curve will go, we will, we will pass through the control points. That's the main difference between the two options, right? Now, look, I will select, uh, if you activate edit, select objects and points I will select all the points not the control points only the points that I define to follow the curve so now I will delete this one I will select this one activate the control points and I'm going to delete these control points to obtain a, a smooth surface look I will have this surface as a reference then if I select the curve and go through the surface, I'm going to extrude the curve straight. So I select the extrude curve and I will give any distance to the top. I will obtain this surface. I will go to shaded mode on the four viewports. Right now, I will obtain a, a rectangle to know the size of the surface. So I can go through this viewport and I will go to uh, transform no sorry curve curve from objects and create UUB curves so I will activate this command let me try to use this help window to, to watch the, the name of the command so I will select the surface because the command requests which one is the surface to create the UUB curves I will select this surface and I will press enter then I will obtain the rectangle that means the total size of this uh, surface so I can draw uh, inside this rectangle to take this curve or anything that I want here to this surface so I select the rectangle I go to surface and I will select the planar curves then I will create a, this surface to be the reference to draw something here and go to this surface and at this moment let's try to identify that this is the line of the midpoint of the surface this is the mid line on the horizontal uh, direction so this is the first quadrant in this quadrant I need to give a click to, to take as a reference from this surface to this surface then I recommend you to go to the top viewport and start drawing with interpolate point sorry curve freeform interpolate points you can use any reference of end near and something like that and you can draw anything that you want here actually I can use for example a inside curve polygon star for example and I will draw a star of six points and I draw this this star here and this star here right 
Now, I want to take these curves to this surface. I'm going to the transform and flow along surface command. The command is flow along surface. Then I will select flow along surface and select objects to flow along the surface will be this curve, this star, and this star. And I will give a click to finish the curves or the objects that I want to take to this surface. Now, the next step is which one is the base surface of the of the of the object that will be this quadrant and then I will give one click here and I need to give the same click on this surface because if I select this quadrant at the top I will invert this curve is this one so it needs to be careful to which uh, corner or which quadrant do I do I need to select so again transform flow along surface then select the curves that you want to flow from this planar surface to this extrude surface and then press enter the base surface will gonna be this corner and before I click I give the last click of the command I can activate still the option of record history to modify the original curves on and will be reflected on the on the projection of this surface so look, I will activate record history and then the final step of the command is select the target surface. The target surface will be this quadrant. So I will give one click here and I will obtain this, this reference. And now look, if I modify the, uh, lo uh, the location of the object, it will be reflected on the flow along surface uh, target that, this, uh, that will be this one. If you don't want to watch these ISO curves, remember that you can select the surface, go to the donut of colors, the properties, and at the bottom of the of the window, you will uh, disable the option of show surface ISO curves. So look, I hide the ISO curves that was before in the over the surface, and is more uh, clean the drawing. So you can modify now again this one. And you can increase, decrease. Uh, you can't add uh, more objects. You need to repeat the step of flow along surface, but you can modify the original shape of the curves or anything that you want to put over this surface now. As a final example, for example, I will activate, for example, I will create a, a sphere. You can find here solid, and the spheres will be here. A sphere center radius look I will create the here and now I need to repeat the step of sorry transform from a flow along surface which one is now the, the object that I want to change to, to flow is this sphere sorry press enter the base surface will be this one and then automatically we'll, we'll request we'll, which one is the target surface. I will click again record history and then this corner now. And look, you can uh, take two uh, an objects in 3D as the same of, as a curve. So you can uh, include some more objects and still modifying. Look that the middle point of the sphere is still of a long the the extrude surface that I created right so this is all for this video if we record more you will see later right well thanks for watching R regards